Howdy guys, Nintendo Capri Sun here, and in the last episode... Oh, welcome back to Final Fantasy X. Well, let's play Final Fantasy X, should I say. Um, in the last episode, we just found out that our hometown of Xanarkand was destroyed 1,000 years ago. But we just saw it happen, like, earlier today, or, like, something. So, let's see if we can get some more info on that from our pal Riku here. You who... said... You play Blitzball? Yep. Uh -huh. I'm good, too. You can suck you know, my balls. You should go to Luca. Someone might know who you are, or you might find someone you recognize. I'd love to go to Luca. Ah. Uh. Huh. <sighs> Damn it. What's she doing? She's trying to show off her ass, that's all. Okay, leave it to me. I'll get you to Luca. Promise. Cool. <laughs> You'd rather stay here? Uh-uh. Okay, I'll go tell the others. Wait here. Oh, don't say oh. the others. And one thing. Don't tell anyone you're from Xanarkand, okay? Yevon says it's a holy place. You might upset someone. Well, who the hell is Yevon? Why is he so important? <laughs> Yevon system? No, Yevon's not a system. He's a man. Yevon Calrissian. I'm only saying that in the context of the... Never Some mind. Some kind of holy place? Yeah, right, I thought. Since when? I mean, that right there, just perfect voice Sin? acting. There was nothing Sin? wrong with that. Luca? I thought Sin just took me to a faraway place that I could go back in a day or two. But a thousand years into the future? No way! No freaking way, man. <laughs> yeah, right, like he's that powerful. I'm not I'm only level two here. And he Oh guess what? This is Sin seems to have some kind of attraction to me. Shin! Oh god. I always stop there trying to think of what he's saying. Itani. It's another vowel. Is it utter up? Whoa. Other on. It has to be like. Ah. Oh. Crap. I just fell in the water with that thing. You saw how dangerous the spawn of it was. Now suddenly I'm. Oh my god! So did I get sucked into him again? Oh. Like I said. Very confusing. Yes. Alright, we're going to save right here. Probably gonna make a million save files for this. Unknown C. Shit, unknown everything! So I don't know crap about anything that I've seen yet in this game. Holy crap! Okay, guys, now this right here... Okay, I, I, I know we're on part 5 now. This, to me, is when the game really starts. This is when I really started to like it. All the stuff of the intro, everything was dark and murky and ugly. And then you wake up here. And to me, this is where... This is where it gets good, so... Dang it! Uh... Blitzball! Something familiar! Hey! You okay? Yeah! Hey! <laughs> Big boobs. Oh, don't do it. Don't do it, Titus. Oh! <laughs> I love how they can show dialogue over both FMV sequences and just the regular polygons. That's cool. Anyway, I don't think it would let me swim like anywhere else right now. Maybe over here? By any chance? Oh, yeah, I guess it will. How about that? So we got some secret treasure. Ugh. Stupid lag is not letting me. It's the moon crest. This item will not be important until like three fourths of the way into the game. Actually, almost entire. Maybe more like seven eighths. But I'm getting it now, just so I don't forget later, and I don't have to come back here and do that later. So what do we have here? Is a blitz ball? Is this a? 
blitzball team of some sort. Wow, they admire me. Hiya. Hiya. You wanna try that move one more time? <laughs> that right there. Finally. That's the moment. Things were starting to look up. It was great for Titus. It was great for me. I mean, I'm not saying we had sex or something, but like you just you really feel like okay, we're finally getting somewhere here. And bam, he does the shot, and the ball just goes out to sea. It's just beautiful. I don't know. I don't know why I love it. I just do. You know, amateur. Who you play for? <laughs> yep. Zanarkin Abes. Oops. Get some more toilet paper. What team you say again? Uh, uh I said I'd play for your imaginary friend. Oh no. Forget that. Uh, uh I got too uh, close to sin and. My head's all foggy like. So uh I don't know where this place is. Or even where I came from. Sin's toxin got to you. But you're still alive. Praise be to Yevon. Praise be to Yevon. So what is Yevon like God here or something? Jeez. Alright, back to practice. They pretty much give that away already, so you know. I'm Walker, coach and captain of the Besaid Oryx, brother. The Besaid Oryx. What? You hungry? Okay, back to the village. I'll get you something. Cool. Alright. Sounds good. See, now this is a Final Fantasy world. I mean, uh oh. Hey, I'll admit it. We're not the best blitzers in Spira. Spira. So Spira's this world? I really want to make Captain Waka proud of this year's tournament. I can hit the ball pretty good. Today's just a bad day. Yeah, he actually is pretty good. His name is Letty. Tato, gotta stop closing my eyes when the ball comes down. <laughs> Wait, is this that funny guy? Watch this animation here. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to you while you're sitting down. That shot was spectacular, brother. Wish I could shoot like that. Yeah, you can look around here. There's treasures to pick up. I'm not really interested in any of it. I just want to move on with the plot here because we've been. There's just too much crap. I felt like I could trust this Waka. So, I just had to ask. Hmm. Um, it's true Xanarkin was destroyed, right? A thousand years ago? So, it's just a big pile of rubble now, isn't it? Long time ago, there were a whole lot of cities in Spira. Big cities with machina, machines to run them. And they watched Machinima. All day and let the machina do the work. And then, well... And then unemployment happened. Oh. Sin came and destroyed the Machina cities, and Xanarkand along with them. Yeah, that was about a thousand years ago, just like you said. Just like you asked me, sin's our punishment for letting things get out of hand. What gets me, though, well. is we gotta suffer because of what some goofballs did way back when. Of course, we must <laughs> always repent for our sins. That's important. It's just that it's hard to keep at it sometimes, you know? It was just wow. as Riku said. Waka and Riku couldn't both be lying. Why, Why would, would they? they? <laughs> 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 that was a good one, huh? <laughs> hey, I'm not saying that team never existed, yeah? <laughs> but you gotta figure, a team living in luxury like that be pretty soft, eh? I appreciated the fact that Waka was trying to cheer me up. But at that time, all I could think about was everything that happened to me. All this started with Sin. Maybe if I could find Sin one more time, I could go home. Maybe. For now, I'd just live life until that time came. No more worrying about where or when I was. Oh, sure, it was hard time. not to think of home, but I started to feel better already. A little better, maybe. Yeah, and the funny thing is when you listen to that dialogue, you feel better too. As Even before he says, I started to feel better, you start to feel better because you think, well, maybe it'll be okay. And maybe it doesn't matter. I mean, it's just a game, but still, you think that. Okay, so, uh, am I, wait, I'm only up to 10 minutes, right? Not 15? I can't even remember. I think I'm only up to 10. <laughs> so I don't know, I've been recording like an hour straight. This way? This way? Alright, let's go. Show me what you got, man. We'll be getting some more random encounters soon enough here, so don't worry, folks. We'll see some action. No worries there. Effect. Look at this, it's so beautiful. I'm telling you, this is why I love this game. Just like when I sleep, I imagine myself in places like this. It's just oh, 
Wait, you didn't you can't slap my ass. You barely know me, man. We're not butt buddies yet. Oh. What's the big idea? What's the big idea, Fox? Okay, it's suddenly kind of dark. Once again, follow the red arrow. If it doesn't seem to be pointing anywhere that you can go, just go as close to it as you can. There are treasure chests under the water. You can look for them. Wait a second. There's nothing over there. Okay, well, let's dive. If you dive for long enough, eventually you get the camera underwater, then you can see a lot better if there's treasure chests or anything there. Jeez, it's the same enemies here that there were in the other world. Look at our HP, though. We're already over 500. I mean, what kind of Final Fantasy game starts you at 500 HP? I mean, that's pretty crazy. Remember the old days when they started you with, like, 30? Oh, 262. This is another chance you get to really flex your cheer muscles, but you don't really need them. I mean, most of the monsters die in one hit anyway, so it doesn't matter. And once again, you might notice they drop power spheres and speed spheres. Speed spheres! I'm going to be saying that all through this freaking LP now, yeah. Of course, I'm not going to have to be explaining that whole thing. Can we get the camera underwater? Yeah, there we go. Now you can really see what's going on. And of course, since Walk is also a Blitzball player, conveniently, he can swim underwater too. So, and that actually becomes, like, important later. Oh, more random battles. I'm just going to leave him in for now, and eventually I will start to edit them out, but for now, we're just starting the game, and you kind of want to get a feel for the battles and what they look like and how they work and everything. So, uh... Waka doesn't have much that he can do right now besides attack. I think he might have one ability, but... But again, there's tutorials on the character's abilities that they show later in the game. But that's not going to be until, like, part 10 or something. <laughs> it's going to be a while. Notice how the camera angle changed there? It's because it was the final blow. If you watch for that, you know it's coming. Then you can kind of relax a little sooner than you normally would. You don't have to wait for the enemy to disappear or whatever. I think there's a treasure down here. Hidden off on the side. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, if I if I get one more after this, I might go ahead and edit it out. But uh, but the nice thing is the battles go by really fast. I mean, you put in the command, that your character executes the command right away. So there's no like taking chances. If you put in a command, you don't have to worry about the possibility of an enemy, you know, ruining your command by attacking you before the character actually carries it out. Because when you put in a command, it's guaranteed whatever you put in is going to happen. Because the character's going to do it right away. So, well, we could go down here. I think there, yeah, there's a treasure right there. I'm running out of time here. Boom. One fish, red fish, blue. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Yeah, let's just go ahead and pick up this treasure and we'll stop the video there. Ugh. This kind of makes me sleepy too. This tranquil music. Antidote times two. Man, that's, that's not too bad. Let's get up here to the surface again. Wait, we got a cutscene coming up here pretty soon. So, uh, we're gonna do that next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy X. This is Nintendo Capri Sun. See you later, guys.